Hi everyone and welcome. Uh, we are here to do a tutorial about the equipment needed for online comedy shows. So these are virtual comedy shows that many of us have become accustomed to during the pandemic, shelter in place and quarantining. So a few things to note, I do have a sort of kit that writes out all the different settings you should be thinking about when you're hosting your comedy show. And um, today it's all about equipment. So let's start off with uh, a mic stand. So this is a mic stand that I picked up from Sweet Water. Again, I'll um, share links for all the products that I'm mentioning here. It's a tabletop mic stand. Sure, you probably have a regular ass mic stand. If you want to be the kind of person that stands during a comedy show, go for it. Just make sure that you modify your um, setup so that you're fully in frame and so that it looks good. You have a good background, that kind of stuff. I am, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down during stand up in quarantine because that's just what I choose and prefer to do. Um, there's something weird about standing. If not every comic on the lineup is standing, it just feels weird. Okay, so um, this was about 50 bucks from a music company. This particular stand is actually um, often used for, um, for drummers so that you can get the sound and just pop this in front of the drum kit. So anyway, the next step is the microphone. So there's a number of different microphones out there. Um, I decided to go with a classic traditional corded mic. Um, this is the uh, Shure SM58, one of the most common microphones that you'll see in comedy clubs throughout the country. So most comics have used this, are used to the weight, are used to the feel, all of that stuff. Another thing to mention is these microphones are basically indestructible. I have a friend who's a sound engineer and has had some of these for like 10, 15 years. So this will be a good investment. They're about $100. And um, I also recommend getting this shield here or the clown nose <laughs> as uh, I call it. Actually, I don't call it that. My friend called it that. And I was like, I'm taking it because it's amazing. You will need a mic cord. So this is your standard XLR cord that plugs into any basic ass audio system. These are about 30 bucks. So the stand, 50, the mic, 100, the cord, about 30. I got a 10 foot cord. Again, I want to be able to adapt this kit to the other end of the pandemic when comedy restarts again. So um, I was very optimistic when I bought this instead of a USB mic. So we have a traditional mic setup, and then how do you plug a traditional mic into a USB? You have to have an XLR USB converter. This is the Icicle converter. It's approximately $45. It um, connects the end of the mic directly into the XR XLR. And then uh, this little thing here uh, is the, what connects to the USB cord. And that's what I plug into my computer. So I put tape on here because those are the settings that I like. That dial on there does stuff. And I do highly recommend that once you've got all your equipment set up, you test it with a friend, um, particularly someone who knows sound. So they can kind of give you tips on, oh, turn it up, turn it down, that kind of thing. So you want to have your settings um, uh, reviewed in advance before your big show. And so I have a um, MacBook Pro that I'm using. That's the equipment that I'm using. And it does not have a USB port. So I actually have to use a converter on top of that. So this icicle cord, this uh, white cord that you see here has the end of it is the USB cable. And then that plugs into my adapter, my dongle, which then plugs into my laptop. So that is everything. So I've got a mic stand, I've got a microphone, I've got a mic cord, which is this fun thing here. I've got my icicle, which includes this, uh, this white cord that you see here, which takes it from the icicle to the USB. And then I've got a small um, USB uh, adapter that allows a USB cord to be plugged into my laptop. So this is our setup here. Another thing that you have to think about is not only are you using a microphone for your audio, um, so you're using, you're using the microphone, but you also need to use a speaker so that you can hear yourself because hearing yourself is key to making all of this happen. And it's also hearing yourself and every other comedian or whoever is speaking on your panel or whatever, whatever information you're using to adapt this to. So, um, I'm using the, oops, oh God, is he, I'm using the, um, iPod pros, um, 
I was able to use my friend's um, Apple discount. So I think they ended up being 230 in the end. I love them. I've been using them outside of this, but I like how discreet they are. They also have the noise canceling feature, which again, one day when we can go on airplanes uh, might come in handy. So um, I really like to have them here. I tend to wear like big earrings and stuff when it comes time for, uh, for showtime. So um, that, okay, cool. Okay. So I use them for showtime. So that has been helpful for me. Um, and here's the setup. So um, here's my microphone. It's corded. And then here is my speaker through my ears. And then make sure when you're, when you're in Zoom that you have this all set up. So the moment you plug in the Icicle Zoom, even if you didn't start it until uh, even if you plugged it in after you'd started Zoom, um, it picks it up and it calls it the Blue Icicle. So as my microphone, I click Blue Icicle. And then as my speaker, I click Jackie's AirPods. So that's essentially how it works. That's the setup. So um, if you have any questions or thoughts or ideas, um, you might also have some streamlined ways you've done this. I have a friend who uses a Yeti mic. And uh, a Yeti mic has its own stand. I like to hold, you know, I like to, um, to do it podcast style sometimes if I like, you know, uh, but it's your preference. So think about what you've, you know, during your virtual shows to date, what have you enjoyed about it? And what would you like more? I don't really want like a mic that has its own, you know, um, base because I like to hold it and it would look really awkward to be like, hi everyone, I'm holding this with a base. So some things to consider and think about the Yeti, um, the Yeti blue um, has excellent sound. Again, a, a friend of mine, a comic used it in one of his last shows and superb. And um, I think Conan O'Brien actually uses that for all of his at home virtual shows. So if it's good enough for those folks, you absolutely can use it again. I like to make my life harder. So I'm using a traditional mic, uh, but go ahead and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas, questions, thoughts. I'm happy to do more videos so we can um, all learn how to do this.